So when you get home today, what are you gonna do? Um, I did load the dishes. Unload the dishes. Uh. Hi, my name is Audrey Trax. I'm from Fort Worth South High School and I'm a sophomore. I am deaf. Um, I don't know how I become deaf, but my parents found out I'm deaf when I was two. I went to two schools in California. It was hard for my, my parents especially. They have different decision about how many implants or not because it's really hard really hard to know what the best choice is and it was difficult for them for me <laughs> I don't remember because I was only two or, or three I was three I had my first implant surgery I don't remember at all <laughs> And I just, I was a little kid with a goofy smile. My parents started searching for deaf schools. They were trying to find the best schools for me. It was hard. We visited Missouri and we searched two schools, CID and St. Joseph Institute for Deaf. I'm Nanette Trax. I'm a teacher here at North Middle. I teach sixth grade reading. I've been here for 13 years. I've been a teacher for 25. We moved here originally because we were desperate for a school for Audrey because we were very unhappy with the level of services she was getting. We looked everywhere across the country and decided that really our, our best place for her would be moving here to St. Louis. She was at St. Joseph Institute for the Deaf. So I went to St. Joseph Institute for Deaf. So I met my own deaf people in there and I went there for like eight years. No, eight years. I think so. I might be one. <laughs> um, I went there until I was sixth grade because it's great. I found out it was closing. I was so sad because it was my second family I'd ever had. All my friend was sad, was disappointed. And then I went what's a walk south because they have that program. They have support. My parents thought it was the best choice. And then I was, I was in seventh grade, it was my first time, a full day in South Meadow. That was a weird experience for me because I went in big classes. I was really surprised that my parents told me, you'll be a big class. I was like, what? You think I'm ready for it? I said, like, yeah, you're ready. You can read lips, I can hear. You can use the FM in there. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, I can do it. And then I went inside in, in world history. I felt weird in there because I never had big kids, a lot of kids in the classroom before. I felt like, wow, well, I never felt that feeling before. I look at what she's doing and what I could have hoped she would ever be doing, and she's doing amazing. And then I, I did very well in this class. I got a B on this class. I was like, wow, it was my first time having world history in a big class. And ever since, I'm still in one of the big classes. I got used to it. I made some friends in there. I thought I was the only deaf girl in, in there because most of my friends from St. Joseph went to a parkway and 
different schools, but in my heart, this is my second family. I'm so thankful for, for all of it, for her. But part of it is that she is who she is. She's amazing, she's so hardworking. She's a great attitude about everything all the time, which is, I look at that, I'm like, how, how can I get that? How, how can I have that every day? But she does. And don't be ashamed about your couple of implants. Once you are AIDS, just proud. Don't be ashamed. Stop being somewhere else. Be it yourself, whoever you are, and if you are an appeared um, deaf or um, somebody else you are, um, some kid um, proud of you and deaf, but just be proud. My name is Juan Wilson, and I'm the coordinator of diversity and awareness for the Fort Zumwalt School District. I met Audrey by chance and I never would have known her story to share with you had I not spoken to her. Sometimes it's in our conversations about our differences where we form new relationships and realize that we share some of these same experiences and we're more alike than we thought. So what did you do when you got home from school today? I unloaded the dishes. 